afternoon. Welcome, everybody. This is one of the more unusual settings for a ribbon cutting I've uh, participated in. So, whoa, look at that. So thank you all for working uh, with us and being adaptive. Uh, can everybody hear me okay with my mask? Okay, got that teacher's voice going. Uh, well, thank you for being here today. I'm, I'm Mayor Lauren Poe, uh, and uh, thank you for being here to help us celebrate a significant milestone in Gainesville's effort to build a more sustainable community. We've got a few guests, with, well, we have lots of guests with us today, but I want to acknowledge uh, my fellow elected officials. We've got Commissioner Reina Sacco, uh, we've got Commissioner Adrian Hesantos, David Ariola, and Harvey Ward. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. All right, so we appreciate uh, a quorum of the commission being with us for this uh, lovely occasion. Uh, we also have a bunch of city staff here, uh, and I know that we have um, Susan Crowley uh, from the University of Florida and a couple other folks that uh, I'll acknowledge in a moment. Before we get started with the formal uh, event, I'd like to ask that we all share in a brief moment of silence. Today we are here to celebrate a momentous occasion for our regional transit service, but this is unfortunately also a time of great loss and sadness for our transit agency. On Saturday, RTS lost one of its operations supervisors, Mauricio Vargas, to the COVID-19 pandemic. Mauricio had been, valued, had been a valued member of our city Gainesville team since October 2005, beginning his career at RTS as a transit operator. So if you would all please join me in a moment of silence in memory and honor of Mauricio. Today we are excited to officially launch three of our area's first battery-powered electric buses. In fact, Gainesville is among the first in the state to bring these advanced zero-emission buses to our roadways. Built by Gillig LLC, the leading manufacturer of heavy-duty transit buses in the United States, these new 40-foot 38 passenger buses represent a monumental step on Gainesville's path to establishing a 100% electric bus fleet. The project was made possible through the Federal Transit Administration's Low and No Emission Vehicle Program, or those of us in the biz know it as NOLO. RTS was one of only six transit agencies in the state to receive these funds. We are grateful to the FTA for this funding and the opportunity to jumpstart our strategic vision, building an equitable community for all and a sustainable community for our future. I'd like to take a moment to thank the representatives from our state congressional delegations for being with us today and for supporting us in accomplishing our strategic goals. We have with us Ashley Cook from Senator Rubio's staff, which of course is a federal senator, not a state, Hi, thank you for being with us. We really appreciate it. Please extend our gratitude to the Senator. And Jessica Caruso from Senator Perry's staff. Thank you, Jessica, appreciate you being here. And do we have any other folks from uh, our delegation? Okay, thank you so much. Please pass along to the Senators that uh, their support has been invaluable in this and that we very much appreciate their participation. Beginning next month, two of the battery powered buses you see behind me will service RTS Route 46 which operates from the Rosa Parks Transfer Station, just a few blocks away, uh, to the University of Florida's J. Wayne Rights Union. I'd now like to turn it over to our city manager, Lee Feldman, to close out this portion of today's program and kick off the ribbon cutting. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Mayor. So uh, just to uh, keep with the spirit of electric vehicles, my job is to give you a charge <laughs> and keep you current and uh, hopefully my, uh, my re remarks will be electrifying. So, so I, I do want to echo the mayor's appreciation for, uh, for your attendance here today. Uh, but I also want to point out, we were originally going to host this at Lot 10, which is right behind these buses. Lot 10 will be known for the short term as GNV Commons as we start to create more open spaces in our downtown which will allow us to celebrate the great city that Gainesville is, to enjoy our great ambiance and weather, and start building our downtown back. 
So we invite you to come out to GNV Commons in the near future, support our downtown businesses, and that's the uh, end of the shameless plug that I will, uh, that I will give you today. Uh, but these buses behind me are, are real strategic in our goals. One of the things that the City Commission has talked about over and over is the need to, to make sure that we have a sustainable future, a resilient future for the city. This will reduce our carbon footprint. We have over 130 diesel buses. Now we have three electric buses, and that's going to help us achieve the goals of of loud ICE vehicles behind us. Uh, but if we make a start with three, we can start growing that fleet and we will be able to grow it over and over again and ultimately have a fully functional, renewable uh, fleet that does not re rely upon the typical ICE construction. I want to specifically thank two forward thinkers on this today. Melissa McCready, who's our Director of Transportation and Mobility, who's right there, and Jesus Gomez, who directs our regional transit uh, system, who is standing back by the ATM machine, which means he wants money. <laughs> See, I, I, I get the subtle hints there, Jesus. So today, I, I wanna thank you all for coming out again and to join us on taking the first ceremonial ride on our buses. They will be escorted by our motorcycle uh, unit for GPD, and uh, hopefully that you will enjoy, uh, enjoy this uh, and remember this occasion as we, uh, as we just keep building the future of the city over and over. Thank you for coming out. Three, two, one.